Hello, welcome back to Brand Social Life Noding. This episode, we're going to be doing some improvisations using geometry notes. Um, I will be using uh, my favorite notes, which is the noise texture. But we can also use uh, magic textures. So if you have geometry notes, um, you might think that you can have like points and you can simply plug color into points. And that's probably not gonna work. Okay, we can probably uh okay with if you have uh we need to start with a something like a mesh line. Okay, because mesh line uh, is made up of points, but it's also have like an an offset on each points. And so if you want to we want to use noise texture and we want to turn it into something like a, like a lines that's following the noise. Um, we can use the position of the mesh line itself. Okay. So that's the, that's the main idea here. So I'm feeding the mesh line into the noise texture. I've done this in the past a couple of times, but I'll, I'll do it again anyway. Uh, so if you plug it into the offset, you get the offset. But what we want is to plug it into the positions. So we have these squiggly lines. Okay, so let's save this very quickly. Squiggly, squiggly noise. And this is not not bad, but you can see there's an offset because noise texture needs to be normalized. So we need to use vector mass minus 0.5 and now we can actually have like a uh, this random noise uh, i don't know what's going on there oh sphere chalk oh yeah we don't have sphere chalk i i i turn off sphere chalk for now because it's sometimes clashing with geometry nodes okay so we can adjust the offset of the mesh line or adjust the scale of the noise itself so if the noise is really small, you're starting to get a kind of like a nice smooth lines. So I have, okay, let's say we have 100 points. As you grow the number of points, we get more squiggly lines. Okay, so at least, so that's the idea. You can distort it. You can use 4D noise and play around with the W. You can actually use this as a, like a screen saver. So you can do the same with magic texture. Magic texture is a little bit strange in terms of the result. So this is magic magic textures, and if you if you use vector math and Uh, offset the position you get some animations yeah play around with the dev also I think and distortions distortions kind of offset it offset it's kind of, we got like kind of like a like a wave that's kind of yeah hard to explain it's like a wired mesh it's a it's a beautiful piece of art using magic texture but anyway i'm not gonna go there for now we go back to the the noise texture i mean the yeah the noise and we can adjust the offset we can get all kind of results so i'm ha i'm happy with 100 points you can use mesh to points and points to volume you can do things like this um, distribute points on volume. Yeah. Or for simplicity, maybe turning this mesh into curve and then curve to mesh. 
we have to circle yeah and the resulting uh, the result of this is of course um, a mesh that we can mirror with the turn on bisect we can flip so we have uh, some kind of weird abstract looking squiggly yeah whatever they you can yeah play around with this increase the count if you really want to you can use the mesh to volume and volume to mesh Just gonna merge everything into yeah, well, something like that. Mesh to volume, volume to mesh, and then what's there's one thing that I forgot. Maybe to set the radius and just plug in random. Let, let's see if I'm doing this correctly yeah I, I actually quite like this we can the volume metric stuff can be applied after the after the mirror after the mirror just create another geometry nodes so this we can use volume a mesh to volume adjust the radius and volume to mesh adaptivity if you increase the adaptivity you're gonna get maybe a better topology or more interesting at least simplified I think I cannot go too low because it might it might crash my blender. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you want it maybe you want it this way. But otherwise um you can just use remesh. Remesh is actually interesting. So now if we get back to geometry nodes, we can yeah drag this outside so we have a different result. Yeah, you can perhaps randomize it using Spherchop, but I, yeah, I think even though it's uh, it's very simple and basic, it's, it's like symmetry of random noise. It's still kind of one of my favorite creations. I'm gonna reduce the distortion. Smaller number mesh line or increase the number it could be uh, it could poten potentially be like uh, for some kind of helmet design or mask but anything basically um, yeah that's basically what I want to show you uh, it's pretty basic I've done this many times but I, I, I'll do it again and again anyway and probably 
adding details what else can we do further with this maybe we can use use AI to texturize or just use this shape and then just generate a like a helmet design or something okay so there you go hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye